Hey folks, Antar here, and I'm back with a new random Wi-Fi PBR battle. Um, my my team that I'm using today is my UU doubles team, and my opponent chose the Coliseum. I wanted a waterfall, personally. Anyway, I'm doing something a little bit differently. I'm leading off with my Soul Rock, um, paired with my Drift Blim. I'm not gonna like go for an explosion first turn or anything, but um, amazingly, my Drift Blim is faster than uh, either of his Pokémon, which is really surprising. But anyway, I got off an icy wind, so now they should be really slow. And so that's going to be nice. So yeah, his Weavile gets a speed drop, um, his, his Magius gets a speed drop, and that's pretty awesome. Um, anyway, his Weavile goes ahead and goes for the Night Slash, uh, it targets my Drifblim, and that was a crit, but I doubt that really mattered. I mean, Drifblim isn't really that bulky, um, and it's not like I had invested in defenses here, so Drifblim is down, and that's a little bit sad, but it is what it is. Um, Miss Magius goes ahead and goes for the Shadow Ball, super effective, doesn't even need the crit, takes out my Soul Rock in one hit, and I'm already down two Pokemon, um, and this is the first turn, so things are not looking good for me so far. Um, but I wouldn't oppose this battle if that were the end of the story. Uh, well, maybe I would have, depending, depending on how desperate I was. Anyway, uh, my other two Pokemon that I chose were Lapras and um, Licky Licky. Uh, Weavile goes for the Brick Break. Uh, he gets a crit here, which at first I'm like, oh shoot, are you serious? But Licky Licky survives, and this crit actually kind of works out in my favor, as I'll explain in a bit. So, um, speaking of crits, I go ahead and use Blizzard, hits both of his Pokemon, uh, and freezes his Miss Magius, which is really, really awesome. Uh, Licky Licky goes ahead and goes with a Power Whip. Another crit here, but did that crit really matter? I mean, Weavile's not that bulky. I guess I could have run the Calx, but I don't know. So, Weavile is down, and his Miss Magius is frozen, um, and so that is really, really awesome for me. Anyway, he sends out his Espeon, and now I notice... 49 out of 217, Licky Licky is in Custap range. Yeah, it, that's right, folks. It's time for another Custap explosion. Although I was a little bit worried here because the last time I used a Custap Berry boosted explosion with this team, um, it kind of backfired uh, because of a glitch in the, uh, in the programming. So I'm just really hoping that doesn't happen this time. And indeed, my Protect goes off, the Custap Berry activates, and I go boom. Now you might think, why'd you go boom? I mean, that's kind of a waste, isn't it? Um, but I really didn't think that I could Oko uh, his um, Espeon any other way, um, and I just really wanted it down. Um, and, you know, I don't care, I mean, his uh, Miss Maggie's is frozen, so barring some hacks, uh, you know, that is quick, um, quick thawing, I should be able to um, just ignore that Miss Maggie's at least for a while. Anyway, his last Pokemon is a Milotic. Um, it's gonna go ahead and go for the Dragon Pulse. Uh, which is going to hit me pretty, actually pretty soft. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. Lapras is pretty darn bulky. And I'm going to go ahead and Thunderbolt here for the super effective hit, and unfortunately it does a little bit less than half. Um, Ms. Magius is still frozen, thank god. Uh, and now I see that to add insult to injury, he's got leftovers. I've got leftovers too, but his leftovers are annoying for me, because I'm not going to be able to two-hit KO, and he's got, um, he's almost certainly got recovered. So anyway, he goes for the Dragon Pulse, and at this point I decide that I'm actually going to go for the Blizzard, because I figure if I can get him down to just under half, I might be able to do a min-max kind of thing, um, and plus I can also take out this Magius before it, uh, uh it thaws. So at least Miss Magus is taken out. Unfortunately, it missed um, Milo Tick, uh, so I don't really get to pull off my plan. But it is what it is. Um, and so now it's just going to be a stall war. I actually have no self recovery on my end except for leftovers, and I mean I could protect stall in addition. But um, it's really going to be a matter of who gets a crit first. Although frankly, you know, looking at how much Dragon Pulse does, uh, his crits aren't going to matter. So I'm just got to hope for a crit on my end. So I go for the T-Bolt, um, and as you can see, you know, it gets him down to about a quarter, um, so odds are I really do need that um, crit here. And so I go, he goes for, go, goes ahead and goes for the recover, which is really obvious, and I just know this is going to be a stall war, except for here I get my freaking crit, and I beat him. And I'm just so freaking happy, and that's awesome. That was a really great way to end this battle, and... Uh, yeah, it was really nice to actually battle someone who wasn't using Ubers and random Wi-Fi doubles. So yeah, um, quick little battle, lots of hacks, but it was enjoyable nonetheless. I hope you felt the same. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.